in the game, because balls TSM stuff, you know, I'm not even going to continue that sentence. Balls TSM fanboys make something happen here. But we do got the skin work coming out. Absolutely no skins coming up from TD, whereas we do have four out of five sitting nice and pretty for our team. So I'm Gragas, Chaos, dropping the ball a little bit. And I'm going to ask you to take over just for a quick second. You know what? Chill out. I got this. Uh, go over the spawn locations. I, it's it's identical, so who the frick cares? But uh, as far as uh, the champions or the item builds are uh, concerned, you got a early hex drinker kind of planned here on Pantheon. Uh, that's actually a really really great uh, item on Pantheon early on. And you can also either go Merc treads and then a brutalizer. That option also available. Gold per fives on Irelia. Double Dorans for Nunu. Uh, gold per fives on Evelyn as well. Double Dorans for Twitch and uh, tons. Double gold for fives and uh, a lot of Dorans with a uh, longsword for Jace. He's going to be going Brutalizer no matter what. Paradoxical scouting things out during his four seconds of stealth. And uh, really the stealth mechanic it could come up really huge here for Team Dynamic. Able to check out those brushes. Able to get some sneaky initiates on. But uh, I don't know. It's going to be really, really interesting to see uh, how this uh, Jace poke uh, starts to devastate <laughs> really game. How did I forget about Jace Poke? Acceleration gates into shock blasts? I don't know. TD already not looking to play that footies game. They're just really behind that tower. Dyer is spamming out that laugh, sounding like a little bit of a the Terminator style, and now he's doing a little bit of a dance, but that's all right. TSM, as I said, looks to have a very, very strong comp. A lot of poke between both Zerus, uh, yeah, the Zerath, the Gragas, and now the Jace, and again, some really hard initiation. Leona, all she has to do is jump in there, stun, get off, you know, one of her auto attacks to get to gain that extra <laughs> DPS, and that's all she needs to do. The rest, the rest of the team should be able to fill in. And you can see already, TSM, very hard initiation and very strong lane presence so far. Yeah, and really, I think the lack of the, the range, I mean, pretty much the only person ranged on Team Dynamic is going to be Paradoxical running Twitch. And uh, if you guys know anything about uh, the odd one and his support, Leona, you definitely don't gank that, but you also uh, don't let him have that because he's actually really, really good at playing Leona, not necessarily a jungler, although he has tried her jungle. Didn't quite work out, but uh, we'll see if it works out here in lane. I'll be interested to see what exactly uh, item build he's going for. He has a gold per five, so it could just go hard support Leona, but uh, also some options for AP or AD as well. So interesting to see what he has going on there. But already you can just see so much poke and just literally zero CS coming out from TSM. They're just holding the wave there, utilizing their poke advantage. And look at that shock blast. Don't mash me. Uh, already down to about 400, 500 health. So <laughs> this is ARAM. <laughs> Don't freeze the lane. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm thinking back to the last time we saw Team Solo mid, you know, a few short minutes ago, it was about 45 minutes ago, and again, you know, we see those gold pretends coming out, this time we actually see some gold pretends on Team Dynamic as well, but last time we also saw Reginald taking all that farm, this round it's all about X special, they want to feed that Jace until he's a fat little princess, and then they're going to carry him around on their shoulders and he is going to win the game for them, that's what I see yeah. here. You know, less less of uh, who's going to be the princess, and uh, I actually have to kind of wonder who Bro 2 is this time around, because you got to know in team chat, they're, they're sort of debating these things. It's like, I, I think, I think Dyrus was Bro 2 originally, but uh, I, I don't know, I don't know if he's like ascended to uh, to Bro 1 status, or if that's going to be special, because he is definitely the one dishing out the most pain, the shock blast, just completely devastating, paradoxical. You can see Nintendo trying to get as much poke as possible, but uh, really, the game's going to start heating up once people start hitting level 6. That's when uh, pretty much uh, everything uh, sort of changes around. It's all about those ultimates, and I think Reginald's ult uh, combined with uh, Leona's ult is just going to be ridiculously, ridiculous ridiculously strong. Yep, and just for flavor, let's throw in that Gragas barrel of fun. Equalizer as well, <laughs> and you really, it's really hard to move when you have that many different effects lump lumping on top of you. And again, X special hitting up a lot of these CSs, but we also have three now on Leona, and I can only imagine that's going to be a good thing, because we need her to tank up a little bit, so we're going to have to get her some kind of farm somehow, just so that she can start off these initiations and lead us into the kill fest that is going to be more of the transition from early to mid game. This, I don't think, will go to a late, but you never know. <laughs> that's <laughs> <Chaos> exhausting. <just> <laughs> 
The chow is just like randomly igniting don't mash me, yeah. I guess for like extra AP or just trolling him super hard. Oh, I guess maybe he thought he was going to jump in there to uh, grab the health relic and wanting to ignite him so he had extra, you know, health regen. Paradoxical can't go into the barrel, he pops! It's, oh my goodness, that barrier 16, coming out super clutch. 16 hit points. And yes, it was ignite, not exhaust. I don't think we have a exhaust even on the table. No, we have flashes, we have heals, and we have ignites, but, you know, he could also take that improved. You know, an extra five ability power, sure, every little advantage counts. But 37 creeps now coming up, X-Special doing absolutely wonderful on these last hits. Look at this Twitch! <laughs> oh, they don't, they don't know is where he gonna, is. Is he gonna deny himself? Yeah, he's gonna suicide in the turret. They have no idea. And there, there he goes, the suicide! GG! <laughs> 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 <-G. laughs> And the spam. Yep. This wow, is these what we these are some about. next level ARAM strats coming out here. Like, <laughs> if you guys didn't know how to play ARAMs, just like, just like, get, get out your notepads, start taking notes, cause, uh, yeah, Paradoxical knows how to play. <laughs> he's got, he's got one touchdown. All right, so that's seven points, and uh, I'm, I'm gonna say, uh, Forecourt and I definitely making uh, some of the, the best uh, League of Legends refs as far as touchdowns are concerned. Uh, not, not a, not a whole lot of. Uh, Contesting going on there. I think I, I think our calls are going to be a little bit better than uh, possibly I some others. To be as good as the NFL substitute refs. That's uh, well, you know what? I'm pretty sure I can close my <laughs> eyes and do that. There but goes there the go. ultimate at first blood. Wow, giving it to odd one no less. X special with the dunks. He's going to pick up a kill on Don't Mash Me. Most likely, he's yeah, he's taking turn. He's going to go down, <laughs> but not without a fight. A double kill picked up for Jace. Wow, I could have sworn that was a triple, but once you go right in there, there's nowhere else to be. And Zion Spartan going to suicide right here into Kaox. 5-1, almost an ace, just did not get paradoxical, unfortunately for him, because he did suicide like a jerk. No, he did die, my mistake. He did die. Uh, but either way, turret's gone. TSM in one fell swoop, able to take that back, and odd one almost grabbing paradoxical, and there we go. Bursts out his shield, grabs it, nice and easy peasy, whatever you were saying earlier. Here comes the Pantheon ultimate on top of that tower, and he <laughs> is just gonna land there willy-nilly, is gonna try to DPS down Chaos, but unfortunately for him, it is a gangbang right under that watchful tower's eyes. Yeah, just so much CC. You can see he was really close. I felt like uh, with um, with his crit passive, it would have allowed him to uh, go ahead and pick up that kill if he had gotten one auto attack. But apparently, uh, Heartseeker Strike is not heart seekering enough but uh, once again paradoxical running to the back bush and you can tell that Dyrus knows that he's still somewhere but does not know exactly where Zion Spar just waiting for Reginald to come in there not quite uh, delicious enough for that bait uh, so uh, we're gonna be without a twitch he's just waiting in there trying to come in from behind they're just really waiting on that level 6 twitch ult oh big damage landing on top of Gragas but here goes the counter that hard stop from Leona does not matter Dyrus does drop to twitch uh, <laughs> No less. Odd one now kind of stuck between all four of TD. Nunu not interested in that party. But, you know, a little bit of uh, extra kills here. We have an Oracles on X Special. And wow, that's actually a really interesting uh, reaction. He's going to be able to see that Twitch, and there is, wow, Reginald just exploding. Paradoxical tanking the turret, just allowing Nintendo and Pixel to get behind <laughs> enemy lines, and, uh, Almost. yeah. Almost got out, but dang, that is, what, 400 gold down the tube right there. Pretty much, and uh, yeah, that will be gone, but there's the Dire Soul. Oh my goodness, a perfect rumble on absolutely every single member left alive for Team Dynamic. A triple kill for Dyrus. Wow. Where's the TSM spam? Where's the TSM spam? I, I got chat turned on for the TSM spam, but there ain't none. I, I, that was totally a TSM moment right there. Dyrus I, I triple. Was well, maybe, you know, good guy Dyrus doesn't spam TSM, or I don't know what's going on. I was definitely, like, rechecking to make sure I had that chat enabled, but uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. You know, good guy TSM not dropping as much spam as Team Dynamic. They're definitely the spam monsters so far. They've uh, been uh, handling that department quite nicely. Even Don't Mash Me, you know, is subbing in for the wonderful Zig, who cannot, unfortunately, be here with us today. So, uh, you know, he's adding his own little flavor to uh, the to game, that's for sure. Not a problem right there, but lots of poke coming out from TSM yet again. Dyrus still on, really, he, he reminds me right now of TF2. I mean, when you have a spy that's invisible, you, what do you do? You get a pyro and you just flamethrower everything, and that's exactly what Dyrus is doing. Looking for those burn marks on that Twitch, and fortunately, Twitch, 
know, after that first touchdown, it's going to be very hard for us to pull another one over TSM's eyes. Uh, there is the Pantheon. Oh, it's coming into the very middle of the TSM. That's the Gragas Barrel, super huge as well. Pixel taking a lot of pain, but uh, TSM just not dying the way TD wanted them. Finally, Dyrus falls down, but TD uh, not uh, left with a whole lot of options or health for that matter. Yeah, it was a good initiation. As I said, that Pantheon ultimate could really lead to some nice bursts, and they were able to grab a kill out of it, but now Nintendo not looking so hot. On one, gonna jump in, and he finds Evelyn in the bag. GG, well played right there. The double comes out with the help of X-Special, and, well, it is gonna be for the Empire. Zion Spartan with that absolute zero gets himself that double. I gotta say, TD kinda came out ahead on that one, but here goes Reggie. Oh, so close. Got off that heel just at the last moment. Pixel surviving. Either way, Reggie now sitting 0 3. Not that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you guys know anything about the way TSM uh, wins or loses, wow. <laughs> yep. Solo. It's like. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's like low, YOLO or, or solo. Not getting a stun off. Reginald's gonna go down here. Niall Spartan gets taken down by Dyrus. That double kill picked up once again. They're just shoving people into Dyrus' flamethrower. And as sadistic <laughs> as that sounds, yeah, definitely worth it. Empire even Z Zion Spartan in the oh, chat. Awesome. It's almost like we have the same minds. I don't know. Dyrus on a <laughs> killing spree. Six and two and six. Will the Ancients going for that Rylize? Or maybe even a little bit tankier with that Warmogs. I do fully expect a Rylize. But either way, 71 creeps on Jace with a 5-3-4 score to boot. He already has that lifesteal set up. He's going for his Trinity. What do you think? Maybe a Frozen? Uh, no, definitely going to be a Trinity Force. I mean, the, the, the Jace Pogue just really, really dumb. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that's uh, something that uh, probably should be pointed out is that, uh, you know, you got X Special sitting on 73 creeps. It's 11 minutes into the game, so perfect farm would be around 110. And when you're sharing that CS and, oh wait, it's an ARAM, that is ridiculously a good CS from X Special. And then, like you are pointing out, going to get a Trinity Force or a Frozen Mallet. He is sitting on... Uh, Let's see, he's not actually sitting on that many, that much gold. It's just uh, has 700 in the bank, but uh, almost 1,500 sitting on Dyrus. So he's going to be able to go back and buy a lot. Already getting that Will of the Ancients. That item is massive for the laning phase here in ARAM. If you can get a Will of the Ancients early, so much sustain for the rest of your team. <laughs> I got to laugh. Laning phase. <laughs> Either way, you mean uh, uh, du uh, double uh. AP, triple AP even. For TSM, Gragas and Zareth both going to be making use of that spell vamp to boot. But I don't know, looking at the gold distribution, there's still only about a 3,000 gold difference, but the items just feel much more fleshed out for Team Solo Mid. When I look at them here on the scoreboard, I mean, TD just looks almost starved at this point. Well, and speaking of starved, I'm not sure how to segue, but there is the kill on the Chowax. No! The barrier, the heal, and the uh, narrow survival there from Chowax. Fat man indeed. Pixel's gonna go down. Reginald assisting in that one. And, uh, yeah, Pantheon jumping into the middle of the enemy team. Not really working out so much. I mean, I know it's uh, kind of like a YOLO Pantheon. I'm not sure how to combine that or what his hashtag would be, but uh, yeah, he definitely loves jumping into the... Yeah, I'm not sure if he was a lucker or what, but uh, <laughs> Pantheon kind of suiciding a lot. Oh man, paradoxical drop in X special, another notch on his belt. He takes down the turret to boot as well, and that leaves a Team T dynamic. Wow, Team Team Dynamic. I... Good job, it's, either it's way. It's like saying Team TSM. It's I like, know. you know what, all the teams. Yeah, X special, yet another kill under his uh, watchful radar. 8, 3, and 5. How much gold does he have in the bank? 8,400 to his name. Nobody even close to that. Combine that with the creeps, and it kind of makes sense. TSM very forceful here, gonna go in, odd one, landing a lot of damage on top of Spartan, but Paradoxical is the target yet again, dropping, I gotta say, he's that Twitch, one and seven, Evelyn, one and four, the double stealth might look strong on paper, but it is not performing. Yeah, and that <laughs> hypercharge, uh, okay, yeah, this is just getting a little bit dumb. Uh, that J spoke is just ridiculous, and, you know, good guy, X special featured uh, in the, uh, the uh, honor posts from uh, Riot is uh, not spamming, not <laughs> throwing trolling, but he could definitely do that if he wanted. That kill on uh, on Pantheon, just ridiculous. I'm loving the skill shots coming out. That's Jay's double kill coming in for him. He goes right into there, but Chaos still not 
dropping. It is unbelievable. Odd one, however, does drop. Nintendo X circling around for another go, looking for the kill on top of Chaos. Zion Spartan might be able to drop it, but X Special here looking for that shot. Going to be trying to protect his teammate, and fortunately will go down, but it looks like uh, Dyrus. No, it is going to be. Dyrus is going to go down, sure, but Jason okay, yeah. another kill. Dyrus just like imploded, like his body turned inside out. It's like that scene from Galaxy Quest. But uh, oh wow, Pantheon just going ham here. Expecial's gonna get the health relic, but he's taking true damage. Dot, don't match me. He's gonna have his combo up, and wow, look at that damage from Pantheon. I don't know from whence it came, but uh, yeah, just wait for late game. They've got this late game for sure. 14 and 4, Trinity Force now, uh, I mean, we just looked at his gold, 8400, now he's at 98, he made himself a smooth 1400 gold from that last fight alone. Next up, I don't know, Last Whisper, what do you think? Yeah, definitely, the Last Whisper build, I know, uh, I recall Dyrus tweeting to uh, Azubu's uh, Reaper on Twitter about uh, how exactly to build a... Uh to build Jace, but it uh, looks like the build of choice here for X Special is going to be Bloodthirster, rather Sanguine Blade, into Trinity Force. Last Whisper most likely coming up next, just to uh, make it uh, unavoidable damage. It's so much damage, damage. coming out from X Special. I, of <laughs> possibly. Well, he has the Trinity Force, so tons of damage, definitely possible. Mm -hmm. For sure. Yeah, it is looking very strong for TSM, but not losing even... Have they had any damage? Yeah, okay, tower is a little hurt, sure, 1,200 hit points down, but overall very much a TSM game to behold. Gotta say, those RNG gods really uh, doing them a nice favor with a lot of poke and then blessing them on top of that with this Jays. Reginald going for something here, paradoxical, as well as uh, does look like Pantheon down there taking a lot of flag, but it is only one tower between TSM and the victory. Yeah, don't mash me dodge basically every single Xerath ult there. He just like jukes Reggie so hard. Oh my goodness. But uh, yeah, with the Trinity Force inclusion in this game, I can't... Uh, wow, this is the end of Evelyn and Tendude. Uh, still doesn't quite work that way, bro. End of the days of TD. Look at Paradoxical in behind him. We don't have an Oracles, but it does not matter. I'm not even sure he can take out the creeps, but no, Twitch will be able to take down Odd One. They don't seem to care whatsoever. In goes the Pantheon, but he drops in fairly short order. Paradoxical versus Chaos versus Nexus. Does look like Nexus is the one that is <laughs> going to be losing that battle. And there is the TSM spam to close out the game. Victory screen shows up for TSM taking down game one versus Team Dynamic. Yeah, only game.